G'day guys, Jeff Ware from bikereview.com.au I'm out on a sunny summer's day in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia and what a great day to be out on the BMW R92 Scrambler Talk about a hipster bike, I've got my beard on I've even got an open face hipster helmet on today so I'm full on hipstering it and um, I've had a pretty good day so far a lot of twisties, bit of freeway work, <clears throat> bit of everything. We're heading out in the countryside now. So my impressions of the bike, um, it's all about that engine. If you've never experienced Boxer Twin engines before, they're a hell of a lot of fun. They've got flat torque all the way through the rev range. This one's got a really good exhaust note because it's got the Acropovic slip on on it, which makes a big difference. Beautiful smooth gearbox, crisp throttle, and yeah, overall great fun. It's got traction control and uh, I can't turn that off, so I can't do any wheelies anywhere, but uh, it feels like it wants to wheelie everywhere, that's for sure. Uh, chassis wise, look, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, for me it's all about that engine. The rest of it's just a bonus to move that beautiful motor along. Um, basic suspension front and rear, bit of adjustment in the rear, uh, none in the front. Um, the front forks have been okay so far though, I wouldn't do much with those, they're a bit limited by travel, but that's about it. The, the rear lacks a little bit of damping control, but that's the price you pay for the weight of a shaft drive, and having a shaft drive is fantastic because you don't have to worry about a chain. Um, <clears throat> seating position's good. Uh, it's a long reach to the bars, um, but the seat to foot peg distance is comfortable. Um, it gives you a good commanding riding position. Feels like you've got a lot of control, a bit dirt bikey, a bit super motardy. Um, for once, my knees fit in the grooves on the tank, so German test riders are obviously taller than Japanese test riders. Um, this is fitted with the knobby sort of adventure tyres. As soon as you get to the edge of the tyre, it starts to two wheel drift and the traction control light flashes. Uh, they're an option on the bike, but just put road tyres on it. Uh, brakes, typical BMW, fantastic. They've been great since they got rid of those stupid servo things they used to have. So it's got the good stuff. Brembo calipers on the front. They're not mono block. Uh, they're not radial mounted, but it doesn't need it. Um, they're fantastic brakes. Um, good modulation at the lever, not too much initial bite. They've got ABS, it's got ABS, which is fantastic. Good ABS system fitted. R clutch action's nice, um, nice and smooth. And being a boxer, the gearbox is always really nice. Um, you can't even feel first gear when you select it, uh, which is a weird feeling until you get used to these things. Fueling's really good. Um, there's no initial snatch in the throttle, it's just silky smooth. Uh, switch gear's a little bit. I don't know, I mean look at that, that this one's flogging around everywhere and the uh, information button's not working at all, which is a shame, I can only go through the trip menu. Also on this throttle side, this one's got a lot of play forwards and backwards so you actually feel that in the throttle a bit. Sort of don't expect that stuff for $20,000. Um, it is a lot of money for a basic motorcycle but it's a BMW so that's the price you pay. Uh, if you're looking for something like this, I suggest you get down to your BMW dealer jump on one and take it for a spin for yourself, don't take my word for it. It is good fun, but it's expensive. Well thanks for watching, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. For more reviews like this, visit bikereview.com.au and you'll also find the full review of this there. You have a great day, take it easy.